What is good, Knicks fans? Coming at you with another video. Uh, there's been a few things that came out th today, so let's talk Knicks. Uh, I have been put out there that the Knicks are low bowling the Jazz, and from what we heard, the details that we heard, many details that we we've, we've heard as of the last week, we've got the sense that they were that. Knicks have been low low balling the Jazz, trying to uh, uh, put less in the in the package trade package for Donovan Mitchell, and it's because most teams won't give up give up assets most of their assets because Danny Ainge want a lot of assets won't give up most of the assets for Donovan Mitchell, someone who hasn't been an All NBA player yet. Although he has been a great player, he has been all NBA and most teams will be hesitant to give up most of the assets for a guy like that. Um and the Jazz won an eight plus return for for Knicks uh eight plus return which eight plus package something I guess the best package out there for uh, uh, Donovan Mitchell trade, and no one else is trying is trying to offer that. Nobody else is trying to offer that. The Knicks don't have to offer an A plus; they can offer a, a B plus, because no team can offer what we can, in general. So I think we're in the driver's seat for the most part, and the Knicks and the Jazz won't want to go to go into the season with Donovan Mitchell. He can win you games, uh, like win you games to the point where you won't be in the top five, top three, possibly, in in the draft next year. And their most valuable asset, even if even though they won a lot of picks, their most valuable asset is their own draft pick. And if Donovan Mitchell is there, he's going to win you too many games that's, that you want to lose in order to get the top three draft pick, potentially top the number one draft pick. So, as much as the Jazz has been, uh, Danny Ainge have been really sticking it to us, saying no, no, we're not giving up, we're not budging on anything. You have to pay this price in order to get him. He, I think when push comes to shove, we can wait on it and have him sweat it out because he wants that first run, first pick of the NBA draft, and Donovan Mitchell being there isn't gonna help you with that right so I think we're in the driver's seat for the for the most part although there's another team out there that I think that can give them a good enough offer good enough offer not the best offer we've got the best offer a good enough offer is which is the Raptors the Raptors have a good um, package that they could throw out there and maybe some a sleeper team like the Kings, if they really want a Donovan Mitchell, but I don't think they want to. So those teams and Raptors are mostly in on Kevin Durant because that that will push them over the edge to a championship contender. But other than I don't think they will go all in for Donovan Mitchell. That won't potentially give them get them to the championship contender type of point that they want to get to. I think Kevin Durant is more more likely the player that they want. Than a Donovan Mitchell. So overall, as much as as much as Danny Ainge has been been shrewd in how he's been negotiating with us, we've been even more shrewd. And I like the way the Knicks have been playing it because going back to how how the Carmelo Anthony trade happened, we gave up. All of our assets, most of our assets, for uh, Carmelo Anthony, but he wasn't a ch championship contender, or at least contending until a couple years after, right? But even then, second round, second round uh, uh, elimination. So I don't think we need to outbid ourselves in this situation. We're the only ones that can that has the highest bid for Donovan Mitchell. Don't overdo it for Donovan Mitchell. And if I think if you want to keep your young players, which is Obi, uh, 
quickly and Grimes if you want to keep them I say put in uh, get a third team into this and hopefully get other assets that can be thrown to the Jazz to offset what they want from the Knicks which is one of the young players possibly two of the young players but one let's just say the least uh, one of the young players and if we can get like a team like the Lakers to give up a Horn Tucker instead of us giving up a Quinn Grimes I think it will work I think we just need to get the right third team in, involved to get uh, Danny Ainge mine off of our young players and onto another young player maybe we can get the ball rolling in that way and talking about getting getting the ball rolling there's there's this it's a Nets update <laughs> I know we don't uh, most of us don't like the Nets but uh, I like to keep stay updated on Nets and it's Kevin Durant so it's like it's really known right now at this point so most of you already know Kevin Durant trade request has been uh, has not been revoked it's actually been pushed up because he gave them an ultimatum the owner I guess I think he went to the owner gave him an ultimatum you either trade me or get rid of uh, Steve Nash and their general manager I forgot I forget his name but for him to give that ultimatum something like that something like that do you think do you think they would trade? A, I mean, a fire their general manager and Steve Nash this late into the off season? Well, it's not late because it's still basically it's about two months left, almost two months left until the start at least training camp. But still, do you think they would try to fire him, fire both of them, and start a? start a um, hiring process when I think they were already flowing with the idea of Steve Nash head coach with this team and this dude getting all the pieces that Steve Nash needs to at least compete next year I think it would be it would be hard right now to get a good head coach that can co coach this team at this point well, I think there's probably a head coach out there that has it. Dan Tony can still coach, right? Somebody else out there that still can coach. And general manager. Who can you get as general manager? It's just coming out of nowhere. Like, you need to start this in the beginning or like right before the, the NBA season ends. This needs to happen right before the NBA season needs to end. For you can go and say hey we need to get a general manager we need to start looking for a general manager for, start looking for a head coach we need to start this process now so by the middle of the off season we can get everything together get everything get a lot of things flowing and everything but for you to do it right now at this point it makes it seem to me that they will want to at least trade Kevin Durant more than they would want to fire these guys. As much as Kevin Durant is one of the greatest players to ever play the game, talent wise at least, but one of the greatest players to ever play the game, his attitude last, this, most of this year, has not been what you want as a net, as a net organization. You want to start fresh, don't you? You want to get a, another star or or whatever superstar to roll with somebody that's way way less of a handful than uh, Kevin Durant right now. Cause you gave him everything in, in his mother, like you gave everything. You let him help run the team type thing. Like <laughs> him and Kevin and Kyrie, you you catered to this guy for three years now, and he wants to leave you high and dry on a full four year contract saying no get rid of them or get rid of me giving an ultimatum doesn't have a good look to it so I think they will want to trade Kevin Durant because anything can happen even next year like oh I don't like this this coach now I don't like this general manager now. I don't know how I don't like how the team is going right now anything can happen and he could just be weird with it and just say nah 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 I don't want to do this 
stick it out, man. You f signed a four-year contract. You should have went to free agency if that's the case. I just think that this can help the Donovan Mitchell trade because let's say a team is willing to trade. No, no other team can give up the picks that we can. So let's just let's just say four picks for uh, Kevin Durant and multiple young players, great young players, like Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart. Let's just say Boston is the because it's been put out there. Boston is the front runner because they have pieces that the, the Nets actually want. Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, and three or four picks. If that's the case, the Knicks can uh, it can reset a few things, and the Knicks can look at the Jazz saying, "No, nobody else is gonna pay you for pay you what we're gonna pay you." We don't have to put in a young player. We're giving you seven picks. Let's say they put in seven picks. We're giving you seven picks. Cam, a good young player is added as is. And expiring in Rose, let's say. And that way you... You keep shit going. You keep shit rolling. And you don't have to pay the full price that they actually want to, want you to pay. I think this is the best. This is a great look, the great situation for the Knicks. Yes, the Nets may come out uh, uh, with other stars, but I don't give a fuck about the Nets. I'm talking about the Knicks, and the Knicks need something to move. I know I, I've been saying that I'm fine with the team ha what we have now. I, I don't care for Donovan Mitchell or the trade. Well, I mean, I can't. I like his style. I like his play, offensively, but I don't care for the trade in general. But if you're going to do the trade, do it for cheap. Don't cut your team for the guy, right? You need defense. And the guys that you have on your team right now has defense. Now, after doing the Donovan Mitchell, if you get to, get to that point, after getting Donovan Mitchell, you, can, you have to do something with Randall because for some reason you can't have Donovan Mitchell and Randall on the same team. It's not for some reason because you can't have four ball – Dominant guys on the on the court together, so you have to give up with Randall. But that's where a third team in general can help with young players and uh, uh, getting Randall off, we're sending a young player to to Jazz and getting Randall off at the same time, and they don't have to give up with Quentin Grimes, right? So this is all works out together. The the net the Kevin Durant thing. Stalled the NBA. Now I think because this ultimatum is gonna make make shit flow, make shit work. Now, now things are gonna get moving, and it's gonna help the Knicks. So that's what I want to talk about. It's, it's been a few, quite a few things coming out last week. So I like that. I like the, when the NBA is moving and everything. Hate when it was stalled. Now things are moving, and we get to talk the NBA. So, I'll check you later.